Okay, this is a further discussion of the, uh, you know, the psychological theory, psychological theory. This is back to the bicameral mind. And the bicameral mind theory, it, it, it was supposed to be, you know, several thousand years ago, presumably coinciding with organized religion. There was the breakdown of the bicameral mind. The bicameral mind is having two functioning hemispheres. This is the dual brain psychology in the right right brain. There's the music center, the intuition. The intuition, which apparently gives us messages or images from the gods. But it's the intuition, it's the creation of um, faces. Now the basic thing to understand with the bicameral mind is obviously there is only there is only one self, but um, there's the identification with movement which creates the anxiety, and there's there's the identification with the face which creates the self-image, the relationship with the mother primarily. Now this we've got to understand or try to imagine the sense of space when you're in the womb, even before you're born. So that space is all around, that sense of belonging or of oneness, that sense of the background, the surrounding consciousness, the awareness of that space. Now when you're born, you see that space, if you like, that blackness in people's eyes. And, and, and that is behind the face, so with the right brain, we're seeing a constant, unchanging self, our self-image, that self that doesn't change. There's absolute equality between each other, or there's a, you know, a malfunction, an inequality, you know, an emotional disturbance, which is where REBT comes from, or comes in. So, of two minds, we're dealing with these two minds, the one that hasn't changed and the one that's identified with movement, success or failure, or the breakdown of conscience, or, you know, blame, or whatever. Which is, and it's the connection, trying to re-establish the connection with the right brain, which is the function of the dual brain psychology, which is the integrated function of these three, which I'm sure is not beyond, you know, the wit of man to form an integrated counselling scheme based on the theoretical knowledge, theoretical structure that I showed in the previous video. Thank you.